Hey YouTube, what goes on? Welcome to This About Action Figures, episode number 119, Toy Hunting. Happy 2022, happy new year. First time hitting a store here, officially back on YouTube here for 2022. I posted some daily content over at Instagram at disavowed underscore 12, but first video for YouTube of the year. Uh, but before we get to seeing what's inside this store, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps out a lot. Free for you, doesn't cost you anything. Uh, hit that bell for notifications. So you're told when we post new content here on the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, like our weekly live streams, like other awesome videos, like our top 10 videos we like to throw up there from time to time. Uh, also, if you want daily toy content and updates, check us out at Instagram, disavowed underscore 12. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button. Let's go. 2022, what do you got for me on the shelves? All right, first off, DC. I did have a conversation with a Target manager over the break. It was on my last toy end of 2021, where they did say that they were not getting a lot in. Uh, they were actually not even going to clearance anything right away for fear of not getting something in. So I'm very curious to see if anything changed since then. There's two of our pigs down there. I saw one of those last toy hunt. So there's two here now. Marvel Legends, nothing. Lots of Eternals, full price. Oh. And now there's these. Why are these here now? Seriously, why are those there? We don't need more Eternals. We need less Eternals. Uh, down here, looks like we have Invisible Woman hanging out. Of course, we have our AOA stuff. Slow spin move back behind our wrestling. Looks like they had some Star Wars here. So we do have two techs sitting here. Uh, AEW, not much. Roddy Piper, another Roddy Piper. There's our Ming in the wrong section, still sitting here. Uh, Infinity Saga pops. Uh, up here, we got Rey Mysterio, 88. Lots and lots of Piper. Hogan with that busted belt that's been here for a while now. Other than that, nothing much doing. Down here in Mo2 area, all the same stuff, which was new and now it's kind of old. So, of course, nobody wants it anymore, apparently. Uh, down below, there's our Rogue One. Oh, all the Mo2 stuff. That's still on sale, I believe, down there. But all the Mo2 stuff still sitting here. We got a Beast Man chilling over here. Tons and tons of Faker. They were on sale clearance price a while ago already skeletor has not bought any of these uh any figures from the revelation line when they clearance i might pick a couple up at least he-man and skeletor uh battle cat down below mirror verse we do have our buzz we do have our sully and we do have our captain jack sparrow uh jurassic park what you see is what you get over here not too much going on but that seems to be about it for what we got going on in this location let's go check the end cap see if that's been updated and if not we'll check natka and then head on to a new spot so oh there's also these still down here too so these have been sitting here for a while on the end cap yeah not a lot of exciting stuff but there's at least stuff which is better than you know nothing being on the shelf at all so all right next spot. and end cap not much better <laughs> lots of eternals another piper of course cena more piper my goodness lots of piper here uh not the paper we're looking for though down here, we have our Andros from Power Rangers, bunch of those, more He-Man. And uh, yeah, we still have the sharks here too from Fortnite. We've got our Lynx sitting here. Um, but again, unfortunately, nothing mind blowing, just kind of the same old stuff you expect to see. And just being thorough at this location, there's another Ming and a Flash Gordon hiding. Uh, Fortnite stuff, so we have the Reboot Van for three, three quarter size. We have more Lynx. Uh, we have Darius League of uh, Legends, which I heard these were actually pretty cool. Thresh looks pretty cool. I think you'd fudge them to a Mythic Legions uh, collection if you really wanted to. There's the Meowso Shadow version for the Victory Royale series. Apex stuff. Midas Rex for the Hasbro. Fortnite. All the little arcade games, which, by the way, pale in comparison to Prime the Firsts. Awesome, awesome cabinets. Love Prime the First cabinets. Good guy. Check out his stuff here on Instagram uh, or the figure booth, his podcast, which I was listening to earlier today. So it's a great podcast with him and uh, Nasty Nate. <laughs> so two good guys in the community. I'm sure you listened to them already. But I think that's about it for here. I don't really show Mario stuff, but I show some Nintendo stuff because I watched a really killer uh, video game documentary called High Score on Netflix over uh, New Year's weekend, which was pretty awesome. Definitely check that out if you're a video game historian or fan. But uh, all right. Let's try to check NECA and then on to another location. And Cedar Crest NECA is very, very stocked. Just nothing I'm looking for. Tons of aliens, lots and lots of Dragon Ball Z stuff going on down below. Uh, we have Son Goku down there from Dragon Ball. Pops, 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 pops. If you have the pop persuasion, there you go. Um, King Kong, Halloween, Gremlin, uh, Judgment Day, uh, Terminator, our costume things. 
lots of little guys up here for Super 7. We got our Chucky, our Halloween, more of the Star Trek, it, so some more horror figures there. But nothing else too exciting sitting here, unfortunately. Looks to be about it. And back on Crocs Road here. And again, lots of stuff. Just not really the stuff that I guess I'm looking for. Another McIntyre sitting here. All the two packs, the basics, the E dub. It's kind of peg warmers here. Of course, you got Scorpio Sky. All these pipers, you know, we're going on clearance once they actually get stuff to put in its spot. <laughs> All this three and three quarter. Lots of Lonely Lando. Emperor is here. Again, more Emperor. Tons of Emperor. Down below, they're just throwing everywhere another hot rod. All the Mo2 stuff we saw at the last store. Restock on Black Series. We've got our Bo Katan. Our Q9 is here. Of course, we have Echo. And of course, Lonely Lando. Uh, I, mean, I can't really call this a dumpster fire because there's so much stuff. It's just, it's old stuff now, which I, I'm, I, I'm actually glad they have so much of it. It's just, you know, eventually, you know, people don't want this stuff anymore. And the kids are all tapped out on it. So, although interesting to note, most of the sales appear to be over. There's one tag here. It looks like that's for the Battle Cat, but all the rest of the basic uh, line figures are all now back to regular price. Uh, down here, all your Disney Pixar. If you're curious about Jurassic Park, we have the uh, Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus? Let me know in the comments down below if I'm butchering that. We have our Jeep with the T Rex and lots of John Hammonds. <laughs> lots of John Hammonds. But, all right, I'll try to check the Legend side, see if it's busy over there. And over on the other side, DC stuff is pretty much what we've been seeing the last few times we were here. So, as I said, not a lot of changeover. Bad cycle still chilling here. Tons of G.I. Joe. This is actually the store where I gave them the DPCI uh, for the bats and the vipers. And they brought out a case of this, which was cool because they were trying to help. It just, again, wasn't what I was looking for. Uh, actually, here we have a roadblock as well. I got excited for a second there. It's just roadblock. Repainted one. Um, down here, the little guys. They're not $24.99. That's the wrong peg. Tons and tons and tons of these, as you can see down here. The Daredevil one's actually kind of cool, but again, not for full price, sorry. Not gonna happen. Marvel Legends, just again, Eternals everywhere. So many friggin' Eternals. Still have our Rogue sitting here, our Magnetos. There's the Target exclusive Athena, Cyclops. Still Mobius here, so that's kind of cool. I never picked him up, so maybe when he eventually gets, again, for the day, clearance, if it ever happens. So many Cyclops. Um, But doesn't seem to be any, oh, well, there's some FF actually. So FF hiding down below looks to be all basically Sue Storm. Nothing fancy there. But I guess that's going to be about it for this store. I walked through NECA and there was really not much going on worth showing you. So maybe a Walmart and a GameStop and then probably going to be done for today's hunt. It actually is still here at Crocs Road. I forgot they have this entire end cap. I've been seeing end caps uh, on YouTube of AEW figures like this. I'm not so fortunate. It's just all... Uh, DC, Multiverse, McFarland stuff. They just can't even give these things away anymore. Uh, there's some Panthors, but these two packs are still everywhere. Journey and Goddess has been here a long time. But, know, yeah, I'm same stuff from O2. Right Nothing fancy. All right, so just rolled into the home base Walmart, and we are stacked with new Turtle product. <laughs> Best action, there they are, loyal subjects. Just Raphael and Michelangelo for now. But if you're wondering, they're just four? No, no, no. There's a, pay, a whole peg of them here, so... Looks like we have quite a few of each sitting around the peg. In addition to that, other uh, best action stuff and DC stuff going on. So there's our best action. Down below, this awful angel is here. Sorry, it's terrible. Uh, more of the turtles. Ah, oh, Gandalf's, of course, here. So again, they're really starting to show up here in force with the uh, new stuff for the new year. Those are still sitting down there, all three of them. Spiderweb, like anybody cares. Goliath is down below. We have... Oh, the Emperor mask staring at us creepily. Uh, Gremlins, King Kong. These are also new, the Bendy Superman. I haven't seen this before. That just got put out today. But yeah, Gundam. So Walmart beefing up what they have going on here in the store. Let's see what's around the corner. No Simpsons arcade cabinets here yet. Uh, over here, nothing relatively new. Gremlin stuff. These are new, I think. I showed these on Instagram the other day, but not on a YouTube video. So they're chilling here. Those are still 30, they go lower, I might grab them. And Stranger Things stuff down here. Hopper and an 11 it looks like. So yeah, they're starting to stock up here with newer stuff. Even at these finally, these were in toy sections and other Walmarts, but all right, let's call it a, call it a hunt for today, but we'll see where else we're off to for the next location. I got a good feeling about this week. I got a good feeling about what we're gonna find.
New Year, same old Walgreens. Oh, well, I guess that's new. Fortnite stuff. Borderlands has been here for like 15 years. Lonely Lando. Ghostbusters. Older stuff. Of course, you have to have a Clementine here because, uh, you know, Westworld is still peg warm in here. Uh, Halo stuff. Yeah, then in the back, Jack Skeleton. More Halo. Yeah, so needless to say, Nothing new here in Walgreens in 2022, except for maybe that. That's about it. So, all right, let's get out of here. Well, no expectations here, considering it's after the holidays, but never hurts to check Ollie's, especially when you're passing one. So let's see what's left in the toy aisle here at Ollie's bargain store. You never know. All right, working our way through here at Ollie's. This is still here. This has survived like three holiday seasons and like many, many sales. So still the Luke Cage two pack. Uh, down this way, Game of Thrones blind boxes, Ghostbusters blind boxes. Down below, nothing really worth taking note. Uh, that's been here for a long time as well. Uh, Gears of War Judgment stuff for ten bucks. Um, up top, of course, we have our Val sitting here. It's a white rabbit, so there's still a legend it's left behind. So plenty of those. Boondock Saints guy is still there. Uh, Ray, of course, hanging tough. All the basics are still here. They'll be here for a long time, unfortunately. Uh, there's also some black series on the end cap, which honestly, there's somebody kind of trolling around over there. So I'm just going to skip that. But uh, I think that's all we're going to have for this hunt. So everybody, thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Lots of good things on the horizon coming up. This upcoming Friday, I'll actually be on the Fin Equation podcast, hanging out with those good gentlemen to do our top 10 action figure list. So uh, if you don't already follow the Infinity Equation podcast with Laser Pants, Pew Pew, aka Ryan, Dante, and Alex, check them out on Instagram and YouTube as I will be hanging out with them Friday Night Live over at their YouTube channel, the Infinity Equation podcast. If you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. You're told we post new content here on the channel. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button. And if you want daily toy updates, check us out at Instagram at disavowed underscore 12. So take care, stay healthy. And I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.